Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So here we have a point charge Q which is placed inside the cavity of a conducting shell and uh, the charge is not placed at the center, some, some place off center it is placed and they have asked us which one of the following would represent the electric field accurately. We will be working on this question in a bit more detail so that everything related to this is covered. So that you know whatever they ask related to this you would be able to answer it. So starting with let's take a conducting shell like this and let's say we put a charge at the center plus Q charge at the center. As you all know that a conductor has a property all the conductors have a property that the electric field say suppose this is a conductor electric field inside a conductor should be zero. There can't be field lines coming inside the conductor, okay. That means, say we have a conductor, if there are some charges inside the conductor, they won't be staying in that point itself. They are going to repel and they are going to get reflected on the outer surface like this. So, because of that, the electric field would be like coming out of the conductor like this. So that's why there is no electric field inside the conductor, whatever charges are induced, they have to come onto the surface and the electric field should start from the surface of the conductor. So knowing, getting to know this, let's just understand here. Now if we consider this conducting shell where a plus Q charge is placed at the center, now say I'm considering a Gaussian surface like this, a sphere like this inside the spherical shell. According to Gauss's law, you know that flux, net flux cutting across the surface, the Gaussian surface should be equal to the charge enclosed divided by epsilon naught. And as you know, flux is E dot A electric field times the area into Q enclosed by epsilon naught and as you see this Gaussian surface will be enclosing a plus Q charge and that means in this expression this will have some value and according to that E will not be equal to 0. So that will be wrong why because we know in a conductor at any point there should not be any electric field inside the conductor outside anywhere you can have electric field but not within the conductor okay so the conductor shouldn't have any electric field so that would be wrong so to justify this in reality what happens is as soon as you put up a plus q charge at the center of a concentric shell it would attract all the negative charges that is electrons which are inside the conductor onto this surface inner surface so the negative charges will come and settle in on the inner surface of the spherical shell and the total charge of these electrons which get collected should be minus Q such that now if you consider this Gaussian surface it encloses a plus Q and a minus Q so that total charge inside becomes zero hence what happens is this electric field will be equal to zero. There is no charge enclosed so it will become zero and hence it will justify whatever happens inside the conducting shell that is electric field becomes zero. Now where did these electrons come from? They came from whichever the atoms are here right close to that surface. So that means when they leave out their atoms so these are like positive charges around this uh, negative charges there will be a collection of positive charges like this and what happens to that positive charge again the positive charge whichever is induced cannot reside inside the shell why because then there will be field lines coming inside or uh, coming from inside the conducting shell that will violate the statement because electric field should be zero that means the positive charges which are induced will get repelled and they will get reflected on the outer surface of the conducting shell like this. So the positive charges will be reflected like this. 
and if you're talking realistically these positive charges uh, as you know the positive charges doesn't move right okay so what happens is the electrons when they move from this position they leave out a positive charge and what happens is the electrons from the surface of this uh, outer surface of this conducting shell will move on to that positive charge to neutralize it so when the electrons from the outer surface move they will leave out a positive charge here so that's what happens realistically but yeah uh, for understanding it you can think of that positive charges induced they get reflected onto the surface so and also the charge induced on the outer surface positive charge should be exactly plus q why because as you know uh, the inner surface charge induced is minus q that is if 10 electrons are going and getting collected on the inner surface they will leave behind 10 of the uh, atoms positively charged atoms so that the induced charge has to be same okay now if we draw the electric field that means the electric field as you know it starts from positive charge and ends at negative charges so inside the shell the electric field would be like this inside this cavity and it starts from positive and it ends at negative charges and as you know inside the spherical shell there shouldn't be any electric field and then again these are like positive charges the electric field will start from positive charges and they will go on to infinity like this radially outward yeah it should be like this and if you place some charge uh, positive or negative charge outside this uh, sh shell then that pattern may vary so that's what happens when you keep a charge at the center of the cavity inside a spherical shell but according to our options or uh, our question says that it is not kept at the center point it is kept at some off center point right somewhere uh, close to this portion but as you can see that from whatever i said these two options won't be valid why because this violate the statement that electric field inside the conductor has to be zero why because as you can see there are field lines crossing through the conductor here also which means that these two options are wrong so i'll just remove these two okay now we are back to just two options but uh, these two are like very tight options why because uh, as you can see the electric field inside the conductor is zero in both of them the only difference I see is inside in this case inside the field lines are fairly straight but here the inside the field lines are curvy like this here outside the field lines are curvy but here outside the field lines are straight so it's just like a war between field lines going straight and field lines going curvy so for that we have to understand it in more detail so let's get into that so initially when the charge was placed at plus q you know there were negative charges which were induced on the inner surface of the spherical shell and that was uniform like the amount of charges every at every point on the inner surface is same okay but when you move a positive charge in this way as you can see that this positive charge will attract more electrons from this region that is more of the electrons will get collected over here rather than here so as you can see there are only few electrons from this portion more of the electrons will get collected on this side why because this positive charge is close to this this one so it will uh, the attraction will be more the force of attraction will be more compared to these electrons so according to that how should the field lines go should the field lines be straight or should the field lines be curvy so to understand that we have to know one more property of the electric field that is the electric field always will be perpendicular to a surface that means say consider a surface like this such that uh, there is a induction of positive charges and uh, these positive charges came here and they have settled in the electric field has to go out perpendicular to that surface that means the electric field has to go like this perpendicular like this it can't go at some random angle the reason for this is that is consider all the charges settled in on the surface like this so we call this condition as electrostatic equilibrium 
so once this equilibrium is attained the charges will be settled in on the surface they won't be disturbed unless there is some uh, disturbance or electric field external electric field so they'll be settled in like this and there will be some electric field now what happens is if say we consider an electric field going at some angle so here as you can see I've considered an electric field going at, at some angle that is instead of going perpendicular if I consider it is going at some angle what happens is I can divide this electric field into two components like this so this will be the perpendicular component and this should be the parallel component like this so as per this idea if there is a parallel component of electric field like this then a positive charge over here would experience a force we know that if uh, you have some charge kept in a electric field it will experience a force like this which means that then the electrostatic equilibrium of these charges will be disturbed so we know that cannot happen so once they are settled in then there shouldn't be any disturbance so that means that electric field has to go out or come in perpendicular to that surface so that's the idea so now that we have an understanding on that if I consider this inner uh, inner surface of the spherical shell, so this is the inner surface and let's say the charge is kept at a center like this plus Q. I'm going to take a negative charge induced like this at this point. That means the electric field from this plus Q which is at the center has to go in this way straight like this. So that it will be perpendicular to the surface here. So it has to be straight. But say you shift this plus Q to some point here, you are shifting this plus Q to some new point here plus Q. So if you take this point and if you draw the electric field straight, if you draw the electric field straight to this point, you will be getting a line like this. And as you can see that this line, this black line is not perpendicular to that surface. It is going at some angle and you know that doesn't happen, right? So to any surface it has to go perpendicular which means that the actual path the field line should be taking is the field line should curve like this and it should go along this green path and it should go like this so that it stays perpendicular to that path which means that the field lines inside should be curving around like this so the correct representation of the field line has to be like this a little curvy like this to the charges then only they will be perpendicular to these surfaces. So the field lines has to be like this. So from the options as you can see this should be wrong and this should be the correct option. Let's discuss about that outer lines also. So as I have said because of this negative charges induced on the inner surface of the spherical shell there are going to be positive charges and they are going to come and uh, col get collected on the outer surface of the spherical shell and they will be getting collected like this in a uniform way. So when all the electrons leave behind the atoms it is going to get positively charged. So all the positive charge since it is a conductor they will repel each other and they will get collected on the surface like this in a uniform way which means that outside the field lines should be uniform they have to go like this as a straight line. So this will be the correct representation. So from the options as you can see this should be the correct option. So in conclusion I would like to tell that if you have a charge which is inside the cavity of a spherical shell doesn't matter how you move this charge inside there is going to be variation in electric field inside but that is in no way going to affect whatever happens outside the shell. That is outside whatever the positive charges are getting loaded up it is going to produce a uniform field it will it, it will be only affected if you bring in another charge outside this shell unless whatever you do inside is not going to affect whatever happens outside 